There we are. We are certainly living and laughing, but we're learning a lot right now because we are with Dr. Stephen Gundry. He's the author of a new book. It's a plant. It's called The Plant Paradox. We are discussing hidden dangers of healthy foods. Oh. What world am I living I in? Know. Now? I'm so confused. Wow. Supposed to Our be. mind is I, blown. I know, right? I, I, but, um, but you're a very accomplished heart surgeon. You dealt with weight issues, right? Yep, and, absolutely. And, and you were like, what, I did, you did some research and you found? Yeah, you know, uh, my major at Yale when I was an undergraduate was in human evolutionary biology. No. And that's a fancy wow. way of saying <laughs> we could manipulate an ape, change its foods, change its environment, and come up with a human. And I took that all aside and became a very famous heart surgeon, chairman of heart surgery at Loma Linda University, did That's all the boring. baby heart training. Oh. Yeah. Loma really? Linda? Baby, yeah. I took care of you. Possibly. <laughs> wow. What a good well, job you did. You did. Great back. Good job. You're a good And, you know, I made a bunch of devices that are still used to keep people alive during heart surgery, but I was running 30 miles a week. I was going to the gym one hour a day, and I was 70 pounds overweight. Wow. wow. What? Now, wait yeah. How is that wait even possible? Well, because I was eating healthy foods, okay. and I couldn't figure out why eating all these healthy foods make, gave me arthritis, gave me prediabetes, oh. gave me high cholesterol, gave me high blood pressure. I actually did baby heart transplants with a migraine headache every oh time. Oh, my goodness. Oh my That's wow. pretty hard to do. Okay. okay, so well. you basically said, you figured out through your research and all this, that there are some foods that we all think are very healthy for us, we've been told are very healthy for us, actually are not that good for us because they contain something called lectins. Correct. What do lectins do to us and what are lectins? So plants were here first. They had it really good before animals arrived. Yeah. Nobody wanted to eat them. Right. Now, when animals arrived, they had a problem. They couldn't run, they couldn't hide, they couldn't fight. But they're chemists of incredible ability. They can turn sunlight into matter, and we haven't figured out how to do that. So what they do is use chemical war warfare, and we're talking about chemical warfare today, to make their predators think twice about eating them or their babies. And if the predator feels bad or doesn't thrive, the predator says, you know, every time I eat these plant babies, I get heartburn, and I think I'll go eat something else. Mm -hmm. The plant wins, the animal wins, Everybody's happy. Except the other plant that he wanted to eat. Right, exactly. <laughs> no, and that one's going to have to start <laughs> developing lectins at yeah. some point as well. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's it, years it, down the road. It's actually yeah. chemical warfare. <laughs> and we're actually not designed to eat certain plants. And some of the most amazing ones are plants that actually come from America. Because believe it or not, none of us are from America. We're from Europe, Asia, or Africa. Yeah. That means none of us were exposed to an American plant until 500 years ago when Columbus started trade. Hmm. The other amazing thing is that none of us, no human, ever ate a grain or a bean until 10,000 years ago. They were inedible. Hmm. And so we've had basically speed dating in evolution to get used to certain plant compounds. And we're losing that. And it's stunning what plants we're losing to. So what, when, go back, let's go back to lectin itself. What is this? Is this like a thing that the plant... It's a protein. It's a protein. It's a protein that the plant uses to, if you will, act like an incoming guided missile attack on their predator. Now, the original predator was an insect. And the idea was to paralyze an insect. And it actually hit the nerves of the insect. Now, to a plant, we're just a giant insect. And it takes longer for that to happen. But when I see my patients with neuropathy, where their fingers tingle or they can't feel their feet, and you see advertisements for this on TV all the time, it's actually caused by the lectins trying to get your attention. Okay, so what foods then do we need to know have these lectins in them? Well, I brought some of the common ones that people think are pretty healthy. Oh, and I'm what? afraid. Is anyone else afraid? I'm, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so depressed now. now. Don't be afraid. We have to understand that we can handle these guys if we know how to defuse them. It's kind of like, you know, 24 hours. Yeah. You've got to give, you, give me a couple seconds here before <laughs> right. the bomb goes yep. off. Get the right wire. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is a time bomb. Oh. A tomato. A tomato. Now, tomato is an American plant. It's a nightshade family. So are potatoes, so are eggplants, and so mm -hmm. are peppers. 
The Italians refused to eat tomatoes for 200 years after their native son Columbus brought them back because they knew how poisonous they were. The skin and the seeds have the lectins. So if you take the peel off and de-seed it, they're perfectly safe. In fact, my mother, my grandmother was French, and she taught my mother to always peel and de-seed mm. tomatoes before she served them. Well, that's a very true story. In yeah. Greece, they do that, too. Yeah. They peel and de-seed the tomatoes. And they taste better that way, too. Oh, they're much better. Yeah. Much better. I never knew so, why they did it, but now, now I know. Now, the <laughs> other thing you can do okay. is, is you can uh, pressure cook any of these oh. things. Okay. Now, how about brown bread? It turns out that gluten is a lectin. But gluten is actually a very minor lectin. In fact, there are far more important lectins in the hull of the grain. Now, for centuries, we've been throwing the hull away. We've been eating white bread, and we've been eating white baguettes, and we've been eating white pasta, because we've been throwing the lectins away. But now, with whole grain goodness, we've been trying to be convinced that this is good for us. Yeah. Much of our health problems started with the advent of whole grain goodness. I heard that and I never believed it's it. It's absolutely true. I was like, you know, that it's, it's not good. I don't know what I heard. Believe it or not, bread was chosen as our poison of choice because it promotes weight gain. Mm. And as you'll find in the plant paradox, things way back when that promoted weight gain was a great idea because there wasn't much yeah. to eat. Right, exactly. You had yeah. to store the food. The other thing that promotes weight gain is beans. Beans are so toxic that the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, says 20 to 30 percent of all food poisoning in the United States oh is caused by the lectins in undercooked beans. Absolutely. What? What, five you know, raw kidney beans will kill a human being. Five, in five raw minutes. kidney five. beans. Well, five. you know what? Whatever you do at home, do not yeah, eat raw do kidney that. beans. Yeah. Listen, this is this such an done. interesting topic, and this is so controversial. I know people at home right now are saying, "I cannot believe what I'm hearing." We're going to come back, and we're going to yes. continue this conversation. What oh, are the pantry back. yet? Wait do not eat yeah. the kidney beans raw. Whatever you do. Oh my god. Welcome back, everybody. We are talking with Dr. Stephen Gundry. He's the author of this amazing book, The Plant Paradox. Um, I'm going to go home and board up the pantry. Right. right. No Throw everything out. Until I sort this whole thing out. Because <laughs> the next thing on your list of knots are cashews. Yeah. We've always been told cashews are super cashews. healthy, even healthy. So do I. Nuts. Cashews are not a nut. Oh. oh. Cashews <laughs> and peanuts are actually beans. They're the legume family, and they're from America. Cashews are one of the most inflammatory foods that have ever mm. been discovered. The Amazonian Indians always take the cashew off the fruit and throw it away because they know how dangerous it is. The dermatologic literature is full of stories of skin rashes and breakouts and lupus from eating cashews. Mm. Believe it or not, peanuts have been shown to cause colon cancer. Yeah, and if you want to cause That would heart... be peanut butter then yeah, as yeah, well. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. If you want to cause heart disease, Peanuts and a, a lectin in brown bread called wheat germaglutinin are the two best ways to cause atherosclerosis, heart disease. Two best ways. Okay, wow. let me ask so you no something. No more then. peanut butter. Oh no! And Take it away from the kids. All right, look. <laughs> you, on brown bread. Peanut butter and tomato sandwiches. On brown bread. Oh, honey, that's the bad that's combination. And don't put but beans on them. Whatever you do. Peel the yeah. tomatoes, yeah. but you can yeah. use walnuts. You can use macadamia nuts. Almonds. 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 If you peel them, the skin actually oh. has a lectin. Okay. So, okay. so blanched wow. almonds or, okay. you know, macarona almonds, fantastic. Those are beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look, explain to me then. So you did all this research. You were 70 pounds heavier. You were going to the gym. You were yeah. hiking. You were running. Nothing was working for you. What did you change? What did you stop eating? And what did you start eating? Well, I met a guy who I call Big Ed in my first book who reversed his inoperable coronary artery disease with changing his diet and taking a bunch of supplements from the health food store. And he started to explain this diet to me. And I said, wait, wait, wait a minute. This is my research that I did at Yale. So I, I called my folks who live in San Diego and said, hey, do you still have my big old research project? And they said, oh, yeah, it's here in the shrine. Um, <laughs> and I said, send it up to me. So I said, oh, my gosh, you know, this is what I know, but I've never done. So I started eating how we were designed to eat. Like what? Basically, we're designed to eat leaves, nuts, and a lot of oil from olives, oh. from avocados, <laughs> coconuts. And we're designed to eat what are called polyphenols. Polyphenols are 
good plant compounds that actually de-age us. My research has shown that it actually makes, yeah, de -age. We are I like that. Keep talking. Keep talking. We're all, do you see us all reading? There's yeah. chocolate and coffee Come again, right here. doctor? Yeah. So my research has shown that almond, I'm oh, sorry, uh, olives, mm. coffee, yes. dark chocolate dilates your blood vessels. It actually reverses heart disease. Mm. Believe it or not, coffee drinkers have far less Alzheimer's disease yes. than non-coffee drinkers. Really? And That's Turkish heavy. coffee drinkers actually have the best looking arteries of any. And and fantastic. That's all we drink in Greece, Turkish <laughs> coffee. Yeah. They call it Greek coffee, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah, a little... that's true. Of course, but, uh, have you have to call it Greek. But a person can't live on coffee, olives, dark chocolate, and almonds. Why not? Why not? Why not? not? <laughs> you have to have you something have more leaves. substantial. Well, yeah. Are you eating so, animal protein? So I, I'm I'm kind of a veg aquarian. I eat leaves and shellfish and a few wild fish. But most of the food I eat are actually plants. But they're plants that you and I have been designed to eat for millions and millions of years. And they're basically leaves. Plants don't have a big defense system in their leaves. They're, they will, they'd like you to eat their leaves and leave their babies alone. So mm. the whole book is about knowing how a plant decided to treat its predator. And if you know how the plant thinks, and I'm pretty sure I know how the plant thinks, they're amazing creatures. They, if, if, if an insect starts eating a leaf on one side of a tree, within 10 minutes, the other side of the tree will quadruple its production of lectins. Mm. It gets a text message from the other side, hey, bro, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh, bro, we got, so it stays we got some squatters over there. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's wow. Yeah. That is wow. That is unbelievable. And here's my final tip. The yeah. only purpose of food is to get olive oil into your mouth. Mm. The more you approach that, there's beautiful studies in Spain taking 65-year-old people, putting them on a liter of olive oil per week, a liter, a liter. that's 12 tablespoons a day, mm. and comparing it to a low-fat Mediterranean diet, at the end of six years, the olive oil group had better memory than the low-fat diet group, but for women, they had a 67% less incidence of breast cancer oh than the low-fat Mediterranean diet. And how do they do, just consume it? Eh, they, drink they drink it. it. They drink, drink it. it. The I only mean. purpose of food is to get olive oil into your mouth. Listen, Regular olive oil. Well, so Fia Loren bathes in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She sprays, sprays it on around. her face. Olive oil, olive oil has some of the highest polyphenol content of any food. Even if you cook with it? If Even you if you cook with okay. it. That's a myth. Olive oil oh, does okay. not denature you know with cooking. Okay. It all makes this all makes sense. Popeye, spinach <laughs> and olive oil. Ah, I'm oh, telling you, yeah. since the wow. beginning, if we okay. just listen, yeah. it You're was so always in the subtext. Right and, and, and look what culture. look what happened to Wimpy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was eating hamburgers, hamburgers. all the time. Look we're, at it. We're coming right back. Plants were here first, and they had it really good before animals arrived nobody wanted to eat them. Now the problem is plants can't run, they can't hide, and they can't fight. But they're chemists of incredible ability. 